Home care agency owners are gearing up to contract and bill Medicare Advantage for private duty services. Billing Medicare Advantage is a great way to add a new payer source and grow your agency. And these plans want to work with you because your home care clients are the beneficiaries they want to sign up. you have to be able to prove what your agency is doing to help lower hospital readmissions by being able to quantify the quality care you provide. And that's what you'll learn in this upcoming video. If you do contract with one of the 3,000 plus Medicare Advantage plans, please understand that you are not billing Medicare. Your agency is not the Medicare provider. You would have to become federally accredited with CHAP, ACHC or JCO to bill Medicare directly as a provider. What you're doing is contracting with a private plan, a Medicare Advantage private plan, one that you've identified in your service area and they are contracted with Medicare. But your agency is not Medicare certified just because you bill Medicare Advantage. Okay, so now that that's cleared up, we all know that CMS has approved for these private Medicare Advantage insurance companies to pay for some custodial care services. Custodial care is how they refer to the services you provide. And now, home care is being held to a higher standard. Agencies are now required to show measurable improvement in care by linking to specific indicators. I'll have a list of those indicators that you can download at the end of the video. These indicators are linked to improvement in client outcomes, safety, and quality care. And again, this is all in an effort to lower hospital readmission. So this is all great news for you as a home care agency. But how do you measure or quantify quality? How do you put a number or a value on quality? The most effective and really what's expected is to create and implement a QAPI program. Many of you may not have ever heard of a QAPI program because this is a requirement for a skilled home health care company. But the landscape for private duty home care is changing and to remain competitive, this is an area where you need to become an expert. So what does QAPI stand for and how can you implement a program for your agency? Well, you just need a few things. QAPI policies, create a QAPI committee, and a process to measure, analyze, and track quality indicators. QAPI stands for Quality Assessment and Performance Improvement. This program must be an ongoing process by your agency that tracks quality care through documentation where you include measuring your problems as well as your progress. Insurance plans want to see this program in place because they need proof you have a way to measure performance through reporting, monitoring, and evaluating the care you provide your patients and clients. Remember that Medicare Advantage plans are contracted with Medicare and their number one goal is to lower national health care expenses. They have found the best way to do this is to lower hospital readmissions. And they believe providing high quality can keep patients and clients at home and out of the hospital. The goal of QAPI is to take a systematic, comprehensive, and data-driven approach to maintaining and improving safety and quality for home care patients and clients. To learn how you can set up a QAPI program for your home care business, email me at robin at statshc.com.